This is 11.5 of geometry. So we're going to look at the volume of pyramids and we're going to look at the volume of cones. Okay. So the volume of our pyramid is one third base times height, or that B. Remember, it's a capital B, so that's the area of the base. And H is our height. Notice that we're not using slant height. Right? When we've worked with pyramids before, we we're using slant height. Now we're using the regular height, the pole in the middle of the circus tent. Right? So let's try our got it problem. A sports arena shaped like a pyramid has a base area of about 300,000 feet and a height of 321 feet. What is the approximate volume of the arena? Well, this is kind of easy. We don't even need to draw a picture. V equals one third base times height. So it says that the base area is about 300,000 feet squared. So this is one third and I'm going to plug in 300,000 and it has a height of 321. So I'm going to multiply that all on my calculator. You can either multiply the one-third or multiplying by one-third is the same thing as just dividing by three. And I get 32 million 100,000 feet cubed. Not too bad, right? Just plugging into that equation. Okay, so what is the volume of a square pyramid? So here I go, I'm going to attempt a square pyramid. Not great, but not horrible. <laughs> Okay, a square period, pretend that's a square, um, with base edges of 24 meters and slant height of 13 meters. Uh, we'll stick it on this side. That's 13 meters. So here's the deal. Remember how I said, oh, hey, look, we're not using slant height. Well, we've got slant height now, which means that we need to draw that triangle. Okay, so our slant height is 13. Um, to figure out this distance, right there, that's right there, right? This is a square, so that's just going to be half of our side length. So 24 divided by 2, that's 12. And I'm looking for that height. So I'm going to use the Pythagorean theorem. h squared plus 12 squared equals 13 squared. Remember, we got to stick the 13 in for the c because it's the hypotenuse. 12 squared is 144, 13 squared is 169, I'll subtract 144, h squared is equal to 25, if I square root on both sides, remember whenever you write in the square root, you get a positive and a negative answer. Since we're talking distance, we only care about the positive one. So we get a height of 5. And now we can plug into our volume equation. So volume is equal to 1 third base times height, area of base there. All right, so I need to find the area of my base. This is a square, right? So all I got to do is 24 times 24, which gives me 576 meters squared. So now that I've got my base, I can plug that into my equation. So V equals one third, 576. And then we solved for our height and we said that was five. And I just need to do that on my calculator. And I get 960 meters cubed. Okay, so the volume of a cone the same equation for as our volume of our pyramid, okay, V equals one-third base times height. Although since we always know that a cone has a base of a circle, we can have a more specific equation, right, because pi r squared is just taking the place of the B there, right, because that's your base. Your choice if you want to memorize that equation, um, I personally would just memorize this one because I know what the area of a circle is instead of having to memorize another equation, but it's your choice. Again, we're not using slant height. So, we're going to use 
their problem, but our story pro or our got it problem makes it a little different. It says the height and radius of a child's teepee are half those of the teepee in problem three. So in problem three, the teepee was 12 feet high. So that means our height for this one of half of that, that's six feet with a base diameter of 14 feet. So the base was 14, so now it's seven feet. So, and now we're gonna find the volume. So volume is equal to, oops, one third area of the base times the height, or V equals one third pi R squared H. I'll just use the second one. I mean, you can find your base separately and just plug it in, it's the same thing. Oh, I put a B here. Let's make this a D. It is the base, but diameter. Because we need to know our radius, right? <laughs> How about I erase that? <laughs> our diameter was 7 feet, which means that our radius then is 3.5 feet. So I'm going to plug into my equation. V equals 1 third pi. Plug in our radius, so 3.5 squared. And our height is 6. So on my calculator, I'm going to simplify that 3.5 first. So 3.5 squared gives us 12.25. And they want it to the nearest cubic foot, so I don't need to keep pi in my answer. So this is 1 third pi 73.5. And then I'm just going to multiply all of that. And I get about 77, what are we working in feet? Cubic feet, or feet cubed. So a little bit more work probably than the pyramid, but still just plugging into the equation. Okay, so here's an oblique cone. Um, so if you look at theirs up here, you can see that the height is still inside, right? It's perpendicular. Okay, in our case, the height ends up being right here because it's perpendicular there. Okay, so it looks a little bit different, but still the same deal. So all we need to plug it to, all we need to do is to plug in. So our volume is, we'll use a special one again, one third pi r squared h, and they want it in terms of pi and rounded to the nearest cubic meter. So our radius. 6 and our height is 12. So this is 1 third times pi times 36 times 12. So on my calculator I'm going to do 36 times 12 and I'm going to divide it by 3. So this is 144 pi, we're working in meters, so meters cubed. So there's my answer in terms of pi and then I also need to give it um, let's see, what do they want? To the nearest cubic meter. So pi times 144 gives me 452 meters cubed or cubic meters. And there's your mark.